Okay, you're ready to get into flying paramotors. Maybe you're already a pilot, but you're looking to see and learn a few things that can keep you safer as you start getting into flying paramotors. Now, paramotors in general are a fairly safe sport. In fact, I'd go as far to say that you're at higher risk of getting hurt on your way to your airfield than you are actually flying. With that being said, there are three things you definitely should consider doing to make flying safer for you. Number one, get some kind of training. Now, I always, always suggest that you seek out the highest level of training you possibly can get. With paramotors, it is not like a dirt bike in the sense you can't just go buy one and learn on the dirt trail down the street from you. There are a lot of little things that you might not ever realize unless you have someone who actually knows what they're doing teaching you. Seek out some form of training. It's always going to pay off in the long run. If you think of it, the training can avoid and be, build your skills to the level where you're not going to be damaging equipment like you would just teaching yourself. Well, over a period of time, those damages are going to cost you more than the training could cost you. Plus, if you don't know how to do it, it's just nowhere near as fun. So seek out some kind of training and don't just go to that random guy down the street who says he could teach you how to do it. Seek an instructor who you can trust, who you see actually doing training and who you know is going to be able to build your skills. Someone who has years and years of experience, a structure and curriculum, teaching students, and someone with a history of success. I mean, that should go without saying. Now, the second thing that people might not realize is be patient. Look, I get it. You want to do those wing overs. They just look so good. And the loop, oh, it's just irresistible. But one big reason that people get hurt is pushing the limits too quickly. I am a victim of this as well. I have crashed pushing the limits. We are all going to encounter a moment where we're pushing the limits that puts us at risk. The more you can take your time, seek out help from someone else, and slowly progress in this beautiful sport we call flying paramotors, the safer you're going to be. Now, I'm not telling you to be that grandpa that never takes a turn sharper than 10 degrees. But what I am saying is don't just go out there and try and do a sat or a wing over or a loop on your second flight. Take your time. Slowly progress in skill. I mean, you wouldn't hop into a fighter jet and try and uh, encounter a dogfight on your first day of training. Same thing here. Don't try and push the limits too quickly. Now, the third thing is fly with someone who has some experience. Now, not everybody's going to have a buddy in your area that knows a th how to fly or has any more experience than you or you even trust to take advice from. But if you don't have someone near you, you should seek out going somewhere where there is someone with experience and flying with them. You know, when it comes to me, it comes to Dell, you're always welcome to come fly with us. You come fly with us. You're going to learn a lot more than you think because training is great and flying is great. But the more time you can spend with your instructor, the more time you can spend with someone who knows what they're doing, the better a pilot you're going to be. So seek out flying with someone, whether that be going on a flying trip and meeting up with a bunch of buddies or going to where your instructor is and flying with them personally. You want to seek out as much additional training after your training class as you possibly can. Now, those three tips are a great way of 
keeping yourself safer and you always should consider doing as much as possible to not only have fun, but to be safe.